<laughs> okay, so we're going to continue on the zodiac analysis on the celestial wheel. So Libra is an air sign and it's cardinal and it is ruled by Venus, the planet of love. Uh, their quote is I balance. So you have to keep in mind that they're cardinal. So they're able to like make decision and like, you know, blast off. However, because they're the scales, they might take a really, really long time to decide on what is the right path to take because they've taken a long time to think about it. Okay. And being an air sign, they're very intellectual and of the mind. So they they will know what decision is the best to take, but it might take them a long time to make that decision. So there can be indecisiveness with this sign. Um, and because it's ruled by Venus, the god of beauty, it is also going to be very loving and caring and motherly-like. And But if detrimented or shown negatively, it could be vain and a little, you know, egotistical or like controlling, <laughs> like a mother. Okay? It's ruled by Venus here, people. And uh, now we're going on to Scorpio. Um, Scorpio is I desire, and it is fixed, meaning that it is freaking stubborn, and it is ruled by Mars. Okay, but it's a water sign. Now water signs are very emotional. Mars is the god of war. Okay, and action. However. Because this sign is, this sign, even though it's emotional, it's not emotional in your face. It's emotional, like it can be, if like that's your sun sign and everything's there, then they might just be like, ah. But if, if there's just some things in it, then it can tend to make more of like a, an inner warrior, where they kind of keep a lot of stuff in, compared to some of the, like the other symbols, like Gemini, when they kind of just blah, 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 get everything out. Uh, but the Scorpios will like hold on to things very like in inside and it gives them a lot of energy to fulfill things that they seek to fulfill but at the same time because of its uh, closed off nature it can be hard to allow other people out in the world uh, chances to learn from the experiences that the Scorpio had themselves because they aren't just sharing about those things and uh, yeah, and then I'm going to move on to uh, Sagittarius, the uh, the archer, and uh, it's the only one that's a uh, centaur and human. Like it's the only one that's like a well, I guess Capricorn in some places is has like a fish tail, but but it doesn't have a human half on the front, on the top. So it's the only human animal, and yeah, so it's a mutable sign, and it's ruled by. Um, by uh, Jupiter, which is like the biggest planet, okay? And its symbol is like a four, and it represents luck, and it's the an expansion. Uh, it's teachers and gurus. Uh, can be righteousness, but at the same time, if it's like depremented, could be like ego and like, um, what was it? The opposite of righteous being immoral or dogmatic, okay? And they're like the learning sign, and their quotation is, I am, okay? So they're very like, they're able to use knowledge that they've gained in this life to better themselves and their surroundings as well as people that they love. Um, they can be uh, kind of discriminatory with people that they love um, because they're the teacher, they, like, they know a lot, or at least they like to think that they do, and... Um, they're a fire sign, so that means that they would be very, like, linked to the ether and, like, have that strong, strong will power of the fire. Um, and what else can I say about it? That's, that's the teacher, like, the, but at the same time, a negative aspect could be the traitor, because these, it's, it's, it's falling into the negative side of the wheel, so... Yeah, but you have to keep in mind that all the planets are all spaced out throughout the whole chart, so you wouldn't have everything all in one. Well, you might, but that's kind of rare. Um, 
And then we're going to move on to um, Capricorn. Capricorn is like the symbol of the, the devil, okay? And uh, they, their quotation is, I use. So, yeah, take that for what that is, I guess. Um, it's cardinal, meaning that they're like strong will to like go out there and just like put themselves out there. Um, they're ruled by Saturn, which represents uh, boundaries, borders, limitations, delays. Um, Saturn is the father of gods. Um, they're like the taskmaster. And a big lesson for Saturn is to practice patience. Because Saturn's also one of like the slowest moving planets. It takes like 20, 29 years about to go through one revolution of all the signs. So it takes a long time. And um, yeah, when Saturn's in Capricorn, it's like Capricorn can be kind of have a bit of a, a bite. Like, <laughs> if you know what I mean. They can be people who are in like... Uh, like police officers and stuff, like they like places of power, and um, yeah, they're they're very intelligent people, um, but at the same time they can be kind of. I have to explain. Hmm. Well, being like Earth sign, they're very grounded, but being connected with Saturn can make them a little woe is me. So, like, in the emotional realm, they might not be very sharing of that, but they can harbor a lot of inner pain of the world. Um, and, uh, yeah, and then we're going to move on to Aquarius. Um, Aquarius is an air sign. Um, their quotation is, I know. So they're, like, thinkers, because they think they know. And, uh... It's a fixed sign, so they're friggin' stubborn, right? Right. And, uh, yeah, Aquarius people are one of the more, um, kind of aloof signs. Um, they kind of are, they think outside the box. Uh, those people will have higher energies in the sense that they will be very good at what they are very good at. Like, in their field, they'll be, like, an expert at it. However... Because they think so outside of the box, they'll be very, like, ahead of their times when it comes to thinking. And when it comes to, like, love and romance, they kind of see the world as a whole. And they're very, um, how can I explain? In an emotional way, they really do view everything as kind of equal. So, like, for relationships and stuff, it's not quite so romancy, um, like, because it's more of, like, in a friendship way where uh, if they would need someone who's like uh, intellectually on the same plane as them and can fulfill the same needs as a friend would um, and yeah so that's um, uh, Aquarius and then we're gonna finish it off with some Pisces um, so it's also ruled by um, Jupiter the largest planet, and god Thor, lightning, and <laughs> high energy. Uh, it's a mutable sign, meaning that they can be changeable, adaptable to certain situations. Um, their quotation is, I believe, so they believe. Okay, like, like It's not the same as knowing, because it's not as... Um, it's, it's more inner thought, more deep stuff that isn't, like, of the world so much, but just kind of, like, an inner, like, spiritual thing. Um, like, less uh, logistics, more um, just kind of, like, spiritual vibes. It's hard for me to really explain. I'm not a Pisces, so, and I don't have my moon in Pisces or anything, so I can't really explain what it's like to be that. But um, they're supposed to be... Um, also ruled by Neptune, which is, like, of, like, spiritual mastery and, like, higher learning when it comes to, you know, anything that's of the etheric realm, uh, like mysteries and things of that nature. Um, and it's a water sign, so it's going to be connected to emotions. And because it's the symbol of the fish, it's, like, you know, but not just a fish, it's two fish swimming in opposite directions. So it can make decisions, but that are very opposing to each other. 
So, and that's why they're mute. it's a mutable sign, so they can be kind of wishy-washy, like two fishes swimming in opposite directions in a stream. And, yeah, I'll show you the chart one more time, because I, I don't think I showed it in this one. And there we have it. So we can see the whole year. Sorry, I'm trying to, I'm trying to make it, but I can't really see the screen. The whole year. And, uh... Where you would fall in it would give you some character traits of how you are as an individual. I hope that this video has been beneficial to learning about the signs. Um, I'm not an astrology expert. I'm learning too. And I got lots of books on it. And every day I'm trying to add into it. So I thought I would try to like share my learning experience with you people out there in the YouTube world. And let me know what you think. Uh, subscribe and like, and I'll be doing more videos. Uh, if you want me to do like a chart reading, uh, tell me your birthday below, and I will do a chart reading for you. If you if you want me to do that, and yeah, because um, in order to give like a total analysis of a character, you can't just look at the sun sign. You have to take like their sun sign, their moon sign, Mercury, Venus, Mars, Jupiter, Saturn, Uranus. All of those planets, how they're configured, almost like drops of paint, they all add up to what makes you. And yeah, Mwah. I hope you like this video. Bye.